deep sleep redirects here. It is not to be confused with dead sleep. Ostrich is sleeping, with REM and slow wave sleep phases. Slow wave sleep, SWS, often referred to as deep sleep, consists of state 3 of non-rapid eye movement sleep. Initially, SWS consisted of both state 3, which is 20-50% delta wave activity, and stage 4, which has more than 50% delta wave activity. Overview. This period of sleep is called slow wave sleep, because the EEG activity is synchronized, producing slow waves with a frequency range of 0.52 Hz and peak-to-peak -peak amplitude greater than 75 V. The first section of the wave signifies a down state, which is an inhibition or hyperpolarizing phase in which the neurons in the neocortex are silent. This is the period when the neocortical neurons are able to rest. The second section of the wave signifies an up state, which is an excitation or depolarizing phase in which the neurons fire briefly at a high rate. The principal characteristics during slow wave sleep that contrast with REM sleep are moderate muscle tone, slow or absent eye movement, and lack of genital activity. Slow wave sleep is considered important for memory consolidation. This is sometimes referred to as sleep-dependent memory processing. Impaired memory consolidation has been seen in individuals with primary insomnia who thus do not perform as well as those who are healthy in memory tasks following a period of sleep. Furthermore, slow wave sleep improves declarative memory, which includes semantic and episodic memory. A central model has been hypothesized that the long-term memory storage is facilitated by an interaction between the hippocampal and neocortical networks. In several studies, after the subjects have had training to learn a declarative memory task, the density of human sleep spindles present was significantly higher than the signals observed during the control tasks that involved similar visual stimulation and cognitively demanding tasks but did not require learning. This associated with the spontaneously occurring wave oscillations that account for the intracellular recordings from thalamic and cortical neurons. Sleep deprivation studies with humans suggest that the primary function of slow-wave sleep may be to allow the brain to recover from its daily activities. Glucose metabolism in the brain increases as a result of tasks that demand mental activity. Another function affected by slow-wave sleep is the secretion of growth hormone, which is always greatest during this stage. It is also thought to be responsible for a decrease in sympathetic and increase in parasympathetic neural activity. Prior to 2007 the American Academy of Sleep Medicine ASM, divided slow-wave sleep into stages 3 and 4. The two stages are now combined as stage 3 or N3. An epoch, 30 seconds of sleep, which consists of 20% or more slow-wave delta sleep is now considered to be stage 3. Electroencephalographic characteristics Large 75 microvolt 0.52.0 Hz delta waves predominate the electroencephalogram EEG. Stage N3 is defined by the presence of 20% delta waves in any given 30-second epoch of the EEG during sleep, by the current 2007 ASM guidelines. Longer periods of SWS occur in the first part of the night, primarily in the first two sleep cycles, roughly three hours. Children and young adults will have more total SWS in the night than older adults. The elderly may not go into SWS at all during many nights of sleep. Slow wave sleep is an active phenomenon probably brought about by the activation of serotonergic neurons of the Rufi system. The slow wave seen in the cortical EEG is generated through thalamocortical communication through the thalamocortical neurons. 18. In the TC neurons this is generated by the slow oscillation and is dependent on membrane potential bistability, a property of these neurons due to an electrophysiological component known as IT window. IT window is due to the overlap underneath activation and inactivation curves if plotted for T-type calcium channels inward current. If these two curves are multiplied, and another line superimposed on the graph to show a small like leak current outward, then the interplay between these inward IT window and outward small light leak, three equilibrium points are seen at 90, 70 and 60 NV, 90 and 60 being stable and 70 unstable. 
This property allows the generation of slow waves due to an oscillation between two stable points. It is important to note that in in vitro, gluor must be activated on these neurons to allow a small light leak, as seen in in vivo situations. Functions Slow wave sleep is necessary for survival. Some animals, such as dolphins and birds, have the ability to sleep with only one hemisphere of the brain, leaving the other hemisphere awake to carry out normal functions and to remain alert. Neural control of slow wave sleep Several neurotransmitters are involved in sleep and waking patterns, acetylcholin, norepinephrine, serotonin, histamine, and orexin. Neocortical neurons fire spontaneously during slow wave sleep, thus they seem to play a role during this period of sleep. Also, these neurons appear to have some sort of internal dialogue, which accounts for the mental activity during this state where there is no information from external signals, because of the synaptic inhibition at the thalamic level. The rate of recall of dreams during this state of sleep is relatively high compared to the other levels of the sleep cycle. This indicates that the mental activity is closer to real-life events. Physical healing and growth Slow wave sleep is the constructive phase of sleep for recuperation of the mind-body system in which it rebuilds itself after each day. Substances that have been ingested into the body while an organism is awake are synthesized into complex proteins of living tissue. Growth hormones are also secreted to facilitate the healing of muscles as well as repairing damage to any tissues. Citation needed. Lastly, glial cells within the brain are restored with sugars to provide energy for the brain. Learning and synaptic homeostasis. Learning and memory formation occurs during wakefulness by the process of long-term potentiation. SWS is associated with the regulation of synapses thus potentiated. SWS has been found to be involved in the downscaling of synapses, in which strongly stimulated or potentiated synapses are kept while weakly potentiated synapses either diminish or are removed. This may be helpful for recalibrating synapses for the next potentiation during wakefulness and for maintaining synaptic plasticity. Notably, new evidence is showing that reactivation and rescaling may be co-occurring during sleep. Problems associated with slow-wave sleep Bedwetting, night terrors, and sleepwalking are all common behaviors that can occur during stage 3 of sleep. These occur most frequently amongst children, who then generally outgrow them. Another problem that may arise is sleep-related eating disorder. An individual will sleepwalk leaving his or her bed in the middle of the night seeking out food, and will eat not having any memory of the event in the morning. Over half of individuals with this disorder become overweight. Sleep-related eating disorder can usually be treated with dopaminergic agonists, or topiramate, which is an anti-seizure medication. This nocturnal eating throughout a family suggests that heredity may be a potential cause of this disorder. Effects of sleep deprivation. See also, fatal familial insomnia. J. Horn, 1978, reviewed several experiments with humans and concluded that sleep deprivation has no effects on people's physiological stress response or ability to perform physical exercise. It did, however, have an effect on cognitive functions. Some people reported distorted perceptions or hallucinations and lack of concentration on mental tasks. Thus, the major role of sleep does not appear to be rest for the body but rest for the brain. When sleep-deprived humans sleep normally again, the recovery percentage for each stage of sleep is not the same. Only 7% of stages 1 and 2 are regained, but 68% of stage 4 slow-wave sleep and 53% of REM sleep are regained. This suggests that stage 4 sleep, known today as the deepest part of stage 3 sleep, is more important than the other stages. During slow-wave sleep, there is a significant decline in cerebral metabolic rate and cerebral blood flow. The activity falls to about 75% of the normal wakefulness level. The regions of the brain that are most active when awake have the highest level of delta waves during slow wave sleep. This indicates rest is geographical. The shutting down of the brain accounts for the grogginess and confusion if someone is awakened during deep sleep since it takes the cerebral cortex time to resume its normal functions. According to Jay Siegel, 2005, 
Sleep deprivation results in the buildup of free radicals and superoxides in the brain. Free radicals are oxidizing agents that have one unpaired electron, making them highly reactive. These free radicals interact with electrons of mere molecules and damage cells. In slow wave sleep, the decreased rate of metabolism reduces the creation of oxygen byproducts, thereby allowing the existing radical species to clear. This is a means of preventing damage to the brain. Amyloid beta pathology. The accumulation of amyloid beta A in the frontal cortex is associated with the disruption or reduction of slow waves of dream sleep. Therefore, this may reduce the ability for memory consolidation in older adults. Individual differences. The SWS is fairly consistent within the individual, it can vary across individuals. Age and gender have been noted as two of the biggest factors that affect this period of sleep. Aging is inversely proportional to the amount of SWS beginning by midlife and therefore, SWS declines with age. Sex differences have also been found, such that females tend to have higher levels of SWS compared to males, at least up until menopause. There have also been studies that have shown differences between races. The results showed that there was a lower percentage of SWS in African Americans compared to Caucasians, but since there are many influencing factors, for example body mass index, sleep disordered breathing, obesity, diabetes, and hypertension, this potential difference must be investigated further. Brain regions. This list is incomplete. You can help by expanding it. Some of the brain regions implicated in the induction of slow-wave sleep include the parafacial zone, gabergic neurons, located within the medulla oblongata, the nucleus accumbens core, gabergic medium spiny neurons, specifically, the subset of these neurons that expresses both D2-type dopamine receptors and adenosine A2A receptors, located within the striatum. The ventrolateral preptic area, gabergic neurons, located within the hypothalamus. The lateral hypothalamus, melanine concentrating hormone releasing neurons, located within the hypothalamus. Drugs. The chemical gamma hydroxybutyric acid, GHB, has been studied to increase SWS. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, permits the use of GHB under the trade name Xerim to reduce cataplexy attacks and excessive daytime sleepiness in patients with narcolepsy. Trazodon is also being investigated in connection with improving non-REM slow-wave sleep and related reductions in Alzheimer's-related buildup of amyloid and tau.